I've got a that dead body, a little boy raised without a mother, and he pulled the trigger. He says he didn't pull the trigger. Oh, okay. You know, Alexis, we're uh, little. Maybe, maybe little green men from Mars came down and went invisible. Maybe they pulled the trigger. Maybe, but not probable. You know, but I, I've got this, uh, Wendy Patrick. Hold on. Uh, with me is Wendy Patrick, California prosecutor, author of Red Flag. She's at wendypatrickphd.com. And she's a star of Today with Dr. Wendy KCBQ. Wendy, you know, I very rarely will argue for the defense, but when you go into a trial, I think you'll agree with me on this, and you, you're prosecuting a case, you have to anticipate what the other side is going to do. And we all know that accident is a complete defense, just like self-defense. It's a complete defense. Of course, self-defense is not an issue here, but accident is a complete defense. And if Alec Baldwin can persuade this jury, yes, I pulled the trigger, but I thought it was full of fake bullets. It was supposed to be a prop gun with prop pretend bullets. This was an accident. If he could do that, he will win, Wendy Patrick. Yeah, you know, it's an interesting argument, Nancy, because he's charged with those two involuntary manslaughter counts in the alternative. Count one, of course, requiring negligence. Count two, requiring recklessness. But you and I have been in trial. Those, those terms are ambiguous to jurors who may be so convinced that both charges one and two were accidents, even though they'll have the jury instructions talking about standard of care, how everybody should have a duty to inspect the gun, whether or not he's acting as a producer or as the actor who pulled the trigger that fired the shot that killed Helena. Those are the kinds of questions that are tricky for juries to answer when you do have this accident defense. So I agree, regardless of them having all the technicalities of the law, it still may be a tough case in that respect. 